Limply, the Reverend Lionel Lawson shook the last smoothly gloved hand, the slim hand of Mrs. Emily Walsh Atkins, and he knew that the pews in the old church behind him were now empty. It was always the same, whilst the other well laundered ladies were turning their heads to chatter fates and summer hats, whilst the organist played his exit voluntary, and whilst the now discassocked choir boys tucked their t shirts into flare line jeans. Mrs. Walsh Atkins invariably spent a few further minutes on her knees in what had sometimes seemed to Lawson a slightly exaggerated obeisance to the Almighty. Yet, as Lawson knew full well, she had plenty to be thankful for. She was eighty-one years old, but managed still to retain an enviable agility in both mind and body. Only her eyesight was at last beginning to fail. She lived in North Oxford in a home for elderly gentlewomen, screened off from the public gaze by a high fence and a belt of fir trees.